that really is great about Marco. Guess the world needs lawyers after all. Gee, thank you, sweetheart. Just please tell me this doesn't mean that you're going back to spending all your time defending Todd. Honey, your father hired me to represent You him. couldn't say no? No, Todd, go find yourself another attorney. No, Todd, I never want to see you again. Oh, Daniela, listen. What? What is it going to take to get him out of your life? Breakfast, anyone? Has anyone turned in my bag yet? Okay, if they do, can you please give me a call? Yeah, thank you. So they find it? No, which means I'm gonna have to cancel all of my credit cards and then buy a new okay, cell you phone. Okay, take a deep breath. <laughs> you can do that later, but today oh, you got something to celebrate. Is. Yes. Our almost <laughs> graduate. Oh, I love the dress. Love it, she love it, love it. Can you believe? She's, all... she's through with high school. She's all grown up. Oh, well, I hate to break it to you, but Shiz Star here has been more grown up than either one of you since she was four years old. That's oh. very true. But you will always be our shining little star, yes. no matter how old and wise you get, mm -hmm. right? I'm hungry. I smell something good. Anybody else hungry? No, 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 wait, wait. Where's Lance? Then we can't have breakfast without our valedictorian. And as we move into our future, our years here at Landview High will remain an indelible part of our... suspect anymore. Oh, well, you must be so relieved not to mention your parents. Yeah, they were pretty freaked. Yeah. Did they arrest anyone else? Uh, not that I've heard. But what are the cops telling the banner? Not very much. They're actually hoping that Robert Ford will be able to identify his assailant. Yeah, me too. I just want this whole thing to be over. Sure. I'll get you guys some menus. Thank mm. you. Thank you. Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is so interesting? Well, no, I was just checking the banner's masthead here. I wanted to see if David Vickers' name was anywhere. You weren't serious about hiring him, were you? For breakfast? No, so you thought you'd just show up here without even calling. Well, you guys have to eat, don't you? I don't want you here. When are you going to get that? Daniela, don't be rude. Rude? He barged in here. Well, I, I knocked. No, why don't you just go bother Star? 
She's graduating. You could take a picture of her in her cap and gown and put on the front page of your stupid Daniela, paper. Daniela, that's enough, okay? Why are you yelling at me? He's the problem. Listen, Danny, I know that you and I have some problems to work out, but... Okay, how's this? I hereby release you from any so-called responsibilities you may think you have. I don't need you. I've got my mother. Sorry, I was trying to reach Robert Ford. I see. Okay, fine. Yeah, I'll call back then. What do you want with that scum? You know? Look familiar? But did you see Dorian's face when I offered David the job? Well, she knew you weren't serious. Who says I'm not serious? That's ridiculous. The guy is a, 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 a g gigolo. <laughs> In point of fact, sweetheart, uh, David has never been able to make that particular career path work for him. And it's really no more ridiculous than you working for Dorian after what she did to you. Charlie, she poured no. alcohol down your throat when you were unconscious. Wait a minute. I thought you had no problem with me doing this job. I don't. I think it's a very worthwhile project. I do wish you didn't have to work with Dorian quite so closely. Look, look, Vicky, I know you weren't thrilled with those pictures, but there is no way I ever would have let her kiss me. Darling, I believe you. The thing is, you don't really know Dorian. When she sets her mind to something, there is no stopping her. What, so that's why you hired David? What do you mean? Well, I mean, I come home and the guy's wrapped around you half naked. I was not half naked. Well, he was. Oh, but that's David. He's always half naked if he can be. Yeah, it's nothing new. Well, so you wanted to uh, rub Dorian's face in it? Honey, I didn't know you were bringing Dorian home. And as far as offering David a job, believe it or not, that's something I've thought about for years. Oh, and just exactly what would this wannabe gigolo be doing for you? For me, nothing. He would be working for the banner. As what? A half-naked mascot? Oh, I drum up business. Please tell me I'm not seeing what I'm seeing. Mm. Honey, you know it's uh, extra for overnight. Wendy, such a card. We were out real late. Uh, yeah, we uh, took the girls out, show them a fun night on the town, and then we all just came back here. Didn't we, Matthew? We sure did. <laughs> we all had a little too much to drink, and uh, nobody was sober enough to drive. You should see Matthew put down the sparkling cider. <laughs> so I thought everyone should just, you know, stay here overnight for safety's sake. Please, David. They're pros. Destiny, I'm shocked, shocked that you would think that I would have to pay for it. And I hope they charge you double. What the hell are you doing? Is this your girlfriend, sweetie? No. No, I'm his friend. His best friend. I know Danny stomped all over your heart and everything, but I can't believe you would do this. 